Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but we've got some sad news when it comes to the emulation community. As a lot of us already know, EtherSX2 is hands down the best PS2 emulator when it comes to Android. I mean, this kind of came to us out of the blue from a developer named Taurith. There's no in-app purchases, there's no ads, and one of my favorite things about the app is we actually don't even have to grant any permissions when it comes to this on our Android device. But unfortunately, having an absolutely amazing PS2 emulator on Android with no ads, no in-app purchases, no malicious malware or anything like that isn't enough for a lot of people. And the developer Talrith has been dealing with a lot of hate online. So unfortunately, if we head over to the EtherSX2 website, development is indefinitely suspended. Now this is super sad because like I mentioned, I mean, this is the go-to PS2 emulator. Now the way it is right now, it's still available on Google Play. You can actually head over here and download it, or you can go to their archive page or their downloads page on EtherSX2.com's website. But the main page here has everything we need to know about why development of EtherSX2 was indefinitely suspended. Due to the never-ending impersonating, complaints, demands, and now unaliving threats, the developer's done. Everything you need to know is right here. It's super unfortunate that there's a community out there that's kind of this toxic with an app this awesome, free, no in-app purchases, no malware or anything like that. And it was always meant to be a fun hobby for the developer. And it wasn't profit driven. So the developer, you know, isn't having fun developing this application anymore. So they're done. And uh, like I mentioned, I don't blame them. I completely understand. But it's really unfortunate that there's a bunch of people out there that are going to kind of do this to a developer who's given us one of the best PS2 emulators ever for Android. And on top of that, totally free. Like I mentioned, you can still download the latest build from Google Play. It's just not going to be updated anymore. Or if you want to head over to the EtherSX2 website, you can go to their download archive. And from here, they've got the UWP version, old releases, desktop, which is actually only for ARM. So if you've got a Windows ARM device, a Mac with an M1, M2, or a higher chip, or even a Linux SBC running something like Ubuntu, you can download this build here and start it right up on that device. And the Android APKs. But uh, keep in mind, this isn't going to be updated anymore. And it's not like somebody can just pick up the reins with EtherSX2 because uh, part of it was closed source. So we've got the PCSX2 side of things. And, you know, a lot of this might look familiar if you've been using PCSX2 on PC. But the Android development side of things, you know, getting everything up and running on Android is closed source. It's not an open source deal that was posted on GitHub or anything like that. So, you know, as long as Talrus done... The emulator is going to stay exactly where it is. I mean, we're not going to get any further development from this. And it's super unfortunate because this is such an awesome emulator. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick one because I know there's still a lot of people out there that haven't heard anything about this. I will leave links to EtherSX2's website in the description. And if anything comes to light, I will post it in my community section. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.